All right, there's that, and one more. Okie dokie. All right, here we go. Oh. Oh boy. Right. Yep. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark a few things in my Thousand steps yet. Didn't make these steps either yet. <laughs> to do that, to post, I've not done that, I've not done that. Okay. And what is this? Hours and fifty five minutes. Not bad. Oops, to there. And I have I'm doing my screen. And that's it. Okay. Now let's start with week 45. ABA Raid Dream was last night. It went well. I'm happy. So that was one of the good things that happened. like how that turned out so I'm gonna do that that again so that would be interesting so that's working out well I did. The class is there. Okay, so I don't have to put it anywhere else. Okay. And I do have some birthdays to say about. We got, we've got Hey Plop, how you doing, sweetheart? <laughs> yeah, you're first. Andy's got a raid going on right now. I'm uh, not raid. Andy's got a stream going on right now because she's part of the ABA raid train. So, 
Uh, that's what I did last night. And it went well, believe it or not. So I'm really happy. So how are you doing, Plop? How's things going in your neck of the woods? As a, a thing is said. There's Ron Row. Listen here, bud. You had fun yesterday. And yes, he did show up for my raid several times. <laughs> Want to see what I did on the raid? Plop. Uh. Oh, you have a week off. Awesome. Congrats. Work your butt off and you get a week off. There you go. The question was, did you want to see what I did on my raid train last night? Oh. Sorry. Uh. Scoot. Thank you. There we go. I started my bar now. I don't think you were here for the drawing of the bar now. No, yeah, yeah, yeah you were, because you were there Tuesday. I did this on a Tuesday stream. So I think you were here for the Tuesday stream where I did the bar now. So that's what I've done so far. <laughs> yeah. So I'll be working on this. Part of my art every day. Month, you know. So that should be fun. So, yeah. I was talking about, I had shown off the junk journal I've done, the, the, the notebook, the painting for my ma, uh, it, everything. So, last night it ended up being really funny. Having all that to talk about. As I said, I couldn't do it on a Sunday because I do my bullet journal and, and someone goes, okay, I'm interested, what do you do for your bullet journal? <laughs> like, Oops. <laughs> Pop, you're not on Facebook, are you, sweetheart? You are? Okay. Uh, let me quickly... Okay. All right. Whisper, where is my, where did it go? I don't know. Okay, here we go. Ah, here we go. There we go. That's how I have to do it. All right. So I think my Facebook is open and I can show this picture, but I will go ahead and send you, because it's very hard to find me on Facebook because of my name. There's so many. And I'll send you via whisper by link. But let me pull up. Ah, here we go. That's what I got. I won from one of my favorite stores, which is the Dilly's Curiosity Shop. And I won one of their Halloween gift bags. That is absolutely everything, the the stones, the candy, the, the incense, the cards, which I will show you the cards in a few, but yeah, they were absolutely just, they're gorgeous. I won. I couldn't believe I won. I was like, and they called me yesterday and said, well, we called on Monday and I went looking at my phone. Sure enough, they called, but they didn't leave a message and I felt so bad that I didn't respond back so quickly. But I happened to be up yesterday when they called and I was near my phone. 
So of course I was like, yes, please. I will look at this and yeah, I will show you the cards at the end. Well, I tried to draw. It is so cool. I was so happy. I was like, Ooh. I couldn't believe it. It's one of my favorite places. Then I ended up getting this baby. This is long. You stand your instant stick right here, which is very hard to find, by the way. I got that one. Oh, just wait. Whoops. This one. Sorry. And then the cone sits right here. Now, there's supposed to be lights and whatnot with this. I don't care. You know, I'm like, okay, so it looks like double A batteries are needed. And then I thought I had this one, but I ended up, okay, here's not sticking right. I ended up having, I didn't have it, so this baby. So now I've got three of these little things. I mean, really, could anybody really think that I wouldn't pass these up? Let me move this one down just a tad. There we go. So, I bought this one first, this one second, and then I got this one yesterday. They still had it. And I didn't realize, I thought I had this one. No, it was this one I had. And yeah, so. So yesterday I got that one. when I, before Halloween on the October 30th, I'm going to try to send her one of these. What do you think? So that's what I'm sending to, I got one and I bought another one just for Andy. So I thought, oh, that'd be so cool. Andy doesn't know what she's getting. I literally had to beg her for some info to be able to send it. But I'll be happy. Oh, I love, well, to be all honest, you will find that most things that I have with me is dragon. So if you get something that says April dot Smith, uh, blah, 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 that's not me. I don't care who it is. It's not me because most of my, my IDs have dragon in it. So I have four emails and all of them have a dragon in it. Not much of a surprise. So, yes, I do love dragons. So, yeah, I, I love dragons, so it's going to end up having a dragon either way. You leaving? Bye, Roro. Oh, I was wondering, what the heck is he doing? You never mind. <laughs> So, what have you been working on, Plop? Anything interesting? And are you going to enjoy this week off?
Okay. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Mm. Yeah, that's that's a tough one. When you have all those work in progresses and everything, it's like, uh, when will I see the end? Am I going to see the end? Um, I know when I did the... Um, I did the temperature blanket. I thought I was going to be able to do the whole year. My wrist started hurting and I was like, oh no, I can't do it. That's not good. And so I'm like, uh, then I found out they could do the scarf, which here we go. Sorry. Let me put it this way. And right now I've only done up to August 23rd, I believe. So I think I'm going to try for the scarf next year, you know, instead of a temperature blanket because it's just too much on my wrist. So. But at least I did it. And then plus I am. And here's the funny thing is that I thought I was doing the temperature blanket wrong. No, I was actually doing it right. It's supposed to be two rows back and forth for each day. And I was like, but, um, because it's the crochet that's only one per week. And it's like, oh, that makes sense. Mine doesn't make so much sense. So I have end up, I'm going to end up doing Probably the scarf next year. I'm thinking of continuing the temperature thing just to see how it's going to go. And I'll do the scarf instead of the blanket. And we'll see how long that scarf can become. And then I'm also doing the Evolve Artist classes. I finally did one of my classes. My homework is going to be done tomorrow. Hopefully I'll get everything uh, set up this week. So, yeah, so hopefully I can, I'll do it next year. I don't know if I'll ever learn how to crochet though. <laughs> I've got two cross stitches that I've got to do because my Patreon sent them to me. So I was like, I got to do those. Uh, I haven't touched them, <laughs> but hopefully I will get certain things done. And then I'm supposed to walk. <laughs> no, don't happen this time. I didn't get it yesterday. I'm not gonna get it today. Uh, I've got other things that I need to work on. So it's gonna be interesting to see how I'm going to handle all this. 
I've got enough videos coming out for this week, so I just got to plan them out correctly. Yeah. It's getting everything done and in a reasonable amount of time. So hopefully everything... And then also working the streams in and everything. So, you know, yeah. I gotta catch your streams a little bit better, which I've not been doing. And I'm sorry. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping that I'll be able to do it and be smart about it all the way through. All right. Oh, okay. Well, that's definitely interesting. The um, Evolve Artist classes I'm going to be doing, uh, I will be posting each project hopefully during the week. So I'm gonna to have to be learning a lot of editing and whatnot, really heavy duty on that. And then um, it was funny because last night, I I'm all over the place and I'm very sorry about that, but uh, my mind is scattering for some reason. But I ended up, it was so funny because I was telling him, you know, I don't do Christmas for December. I'm not a Christmas person. Surprise, surprise. And I turned around and I was like, they're like, hey, you could do a second Halloween. I'm like, ooh, that sounds great. And then I went, nightmare before Christmas for December. I don't know. We'll see. And we'll try that out. <laughs> but, um, yeah, just trying to get everything and making sure that I do the classes because the Evolve Artist, going back to that, uh, is, they say to give at least seven hours a week. I've never heard of a Christmas market. Yeah. I didn't even think about it until someone said, you know, do a second Halloween. I'm like, I'm all that. And then it went, hey, Nightmare Before Christmas. I can do those. And maybe draw all the different characters. It's a possibility. Love to see. But yeah, they say to do at least seven hours uh, a week. And then you'll get the first block done in a year the biggest thing is it's it's teaching me how to slow down and that's the one thing I have difficulties with when I do my art is slowing down so but it's gonna be interesting with the Evolve artist I'm not sure. I mean, it doesn't ring any bells for me. Of course, then, like I said, I'm not big on Christmas. I mean, hey, they start putting out Christmas before Halloween even gets through, okay? Well, supposedly they've got one in New York. And so... So they've got those here. It's just that I don't live in a town near it. Let's see here. And of course they've got some going on in 
Europe. So, yeah. It's not something, it's, it's not something that makes me go, <gasps> you know. But if it makes you happy, that's all that matters, right? Hmm. Ooh, that's nice. Huh. That sounds cool. Doesn't sound as Christmassy as, as it's so much commercialized. I can't stand the commercialization. It's always, you know, it's, it seems so commercialized here. It drives you, it, it drives me crazy. But that's just me. Yeah, I think that's about right. Hmm. Sounds cool. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think that's the reason why I've gotten so it with Christmas. It's just like they want to shove it down your throat as soon as possible. That's like, folks, give me a break. When they start shoving it down your throat like it's no tomorrow, I mean, you know. I'm sure there's people who don't like the idea of Halloween, but my idea of Halloween was celebrating just being able to dress up and enjoying, you know. When I was a kid, I loved the free candy. I mean, come on, who didn't love free candy? But then, you know, when you get older, it's like, I enjoy the... The dressing up part, the, you know, getting to decorate. Let's see if I can erase a little bit of the pencil marks in his eye.
so all right so let's see here this Yep. Hey, they have Christmas in July here. Uh, was it Hallmark or one of the channels? We'll do Christmas in July. Folks, we haven't hit ho October. We have not hit Halloween. That should go first. <laughs> not freaking Christmas. Seriously? I know. I know. We have, let's see here. July's got the 4th of July for us. Then we have Labor Day in September. October is Halloween. In November, we have Thanksgiving. We actually have two holidays. We have Veterans Day and Thanksgiving. And yet, they want to push Christmas over to here. Uh -uh. Yeah, but that's what goes on here. And it's like, I'm not interested. And someone said as soon as the next day, Christmas, uh, November 1st, first thing they heard was Merritt Ryer carries all I want from Christmas is you. And I'm going, no. <laughs> but yeah. Now I'm going to burst your bubble. I am not a summer person. I like spring. I like fall. I don't like summer and I don't like winter. <laughs> you have a issue with it too, Mar uh, Roro? <laughs> I just heard my cat just yell at me. <laughs> So let's see here. We have Andy on at five thirty. Sunday five thirty or Saturday, excuse me. Okay. We have Call mom on Wednesday. Speaking of which, I need to mark this off because I've already done that. And then I call mom on this day. All right. Okay. Wednesday, we have a birthday. Let's go ahead and start marking these down. Uh, the eighth. Yes, baby. The ninth. The tenth. 
months. Thursday, the 11th. Hold on, just one moment. I gotta go get Romeo's attention. So why are you talking to me? Do you want to come back up here and say hi to Plop so she can try to kidnap you again? Well. There we go. Let's see here. Let's um since I'm really not liking that color. There we go. that part okay then we've got okay Romeo went to bed sorry <laughs> he decided he was not gonna get kidnapped by you I don't know why but he didn't want to get kidnapped by you plop That's what I'm doing. I will show you those cards that I won. And if you want to see the other two decks that I bought. Which are these two from Hay House. I'll let, just let me know. So right now we are going to to one of these so we can have them in the corner. Okay. All right, and this is Befriending Pain. Okay, when in Discomfort, become a friend. 
my most limiting beliefs are healed. Are healing. Healed. Excuse me. Healed. Yeah, Mary must be reading, instead of mystery, she's reading a comedy or something that's got her tickled. I don't know what. Hey, Dusty, how you doing, sweet sweets? There's that. And I forgot this part. <laughs> Almost done. We have a Monday and we have a Thursday. Okay. And that's the only ones I have. So here we go. This is week 45. Not the best drawings, but they're mushrooms, so people should be able to figure that out. So now, now that we've got that done, did you want to see the cards, Plop? And Dusty, I won some cards that are... This is this month. This is the, the the mushrooms are this month. So maybe throw in a fox here and there. But yeah, it's a, a mushroom theme week. Okay. Uh, let me see something here real quick. Facebook. Uh, Dusty, if you can see this, this is what I want from one of my favorite stores here. And so I'm going to show off the tarot cards that I got, which are absolutely beautiful. And then I have these two that I, I got from Hay House that I so let me go ahead and start off with this and oh here it is. I mean come on purple bag oh love it so All right. 
Okay, here we go. These are absolutely gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna have a little bit of a... There we go. And some of these are not named. Like the Explorer is normally the full. These are absolutely beautiful. There's the chariot. The fortitude is normally strength. Some of these I remember. The hermit. The will. I think this is justice. The equilibrium. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. The swinging one I think is the hangman. Transformation, I know, is death. Meditator, I don't remember right off the bat. The addiction, I want to say, is the devil, maybe? The unexpected, which might be the tower. There's the star. The moon. Sun. Judgment. The world. Yeah. I didn't pick them. They actually picked it for me. This was in my, this is, this is one that I didn't get to pick. This was actually in there and I couldn't believe how well, yeah, this is actually the one I won. I had, I had no way of controlling which ones I got. Okay. This is, yeah, this I believe is fire is the, um, wands but i mean these are gorgeous you know i didn't pick this no this was in the in the thing i couldn't believe how gorgeous because these were actually gorgeous normally i don't go for this but this is actually gorgeous okay this is way way gorgeous and i think Okay, heirs is uh, swords. But yeah, these are actually gorgeous. No, I did not pick these. These these were the ones that were in there. I'm very particular about tarot. I'm cautious, you know. I think this is the page. This is, would be the knight. This would be the queen. And this would be the king, I think. Don't quote me on it. Water, of course, is cups. But I mean, I'm sitting here looking at some of this stuff and just going, how gorgeous this stuff is. I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous. The colors, the... No, this is not normally what I would go for 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 humans but it's all worth it and of course earth which is pentacles but these are absolutely yeah they're all lovely i couldn't believe how gorgeous i mean look at that baby i was like wow And in this deck, you get two extra cards, which is the supernatural, and you are one. So, that is the beautiful creature tarot deck. And the book that comes with it is a good sized book. I give it credit where credit's due. Which is this. So, I mean, you can see all the stuff so that's the book that comes with this that's the one i want these two i actually bought and these are oracle cards i have this one 
I have one of hers, which is this deck. I love this one. And if you've been on Andy's channel, you might have seen her pull from this. So, I love this this one. You know, it has some gorgeous. It has different wounds, but the thing about it is, I saw this one, and I was like, oh. and Andy said she felt like it was the same thing, so I was like, I'm not saying the same thing. So, I love Yasmin Bolin. She did these. Here are the backs. And then this, it goes New Moon for each of the horoscopes. Okay, now, that's the first moon. That's the new moon. This is the first quarter moon in each of the And I, to me, it was a little different. I liked it. It was totally different because it's separated in the first quarter, the new moon, the first quarter, the full moon, I still need to cleanse that deck, this deck, and one more deck, which is a self-care. And then from, let's see, one more. And then the last quarter moon, which I thought Andy said, they, they looked similar. And I'm like, I didn't think they looked similar because, you know, this one had like the waning moon and certain other moons. This one is new. First quarter, full moon, and then the last quarter. And I love the, these. So. And with these, I don't need this book. If I want to read more into it, fine. But I mean, New moon on Aries, go for it. Full moon in Sagittarius. See the bigger picture. I, I, you know, I can read off of this. So that I don't need. Matter of fact, the cards that I pick every day from is the soul coaching oracle cards. I don't read it, but I just read the, what it is and the little statement on it. That's what I pull from every day. And then there's the self-care. This does not come with a book. It doesn't need to. Some of these do not need to come with a book. This is a little... And you have things like this. Why don't you flip it over? There's your information. So, you got this. And I thought, oh, this would be great. I have one of a self-care one. But I like this one as well. You know? And like I said, you can always turn it around and... This might be one that I start pulling from too, you know? So, but I still need to cleanse them. I need to cleanse them first, so... I love these because these are just, you know, different pieces, you know. But I like to cleanse my cards first and then use them. But this was a lovely deck and I couldn't believe it. I was like, uh, yes, please. And 
so that's these. So hopefully I will get these cleansed as well. So I have three decks to cleanse and then some stones to cl cleanse because I like to cleanse my stones. You know, any crystals that I get, stones, crystals, I get, I want to cleanse them before messing with them. So that's what I got. But yeah, I actually won this. I was shocked because I really, I ended up really liking it because I'm not one for colors. I'm, I'm more muted and whatnot, depending on what it is. But this was absolutely gorgeous. So I couldn't believe how wonderful these turned out. So that is pretty much all I have for today. I am going to go check and see, let's see here, I think, okay, this is going on, um, Miss Mary Mac should be on right now. I am thinking of rating Miss Mary Mac, so you guys could end up following the raid train um i was with andy and uh, unfortunately like i said she was doing the raid train so she had to raid miss mac so i'm gonna go ahead and do a raid and so that way you guys will enjoy and be part of the aba raid train that i was with last night thank you all for coming i love you all and I will see you next time. Bye.